Hello everyone, uh, I am Kaizo of K and F question mark question mark question mark fame, um, <laughs> as well as the host of Kaizo Quest. Uh, if you're seeing this episode, that means that uh, there was probably a small hitch in the recordings of Momodora, um, or in the editing process, uh, so today I'm going to put in some filler. Uh, that filler is going to be how to beat Hux Bay on Master Difficulty while getting all of the master difficulty challenges. So I've already done this, but uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to complete it here. Um, so you have, I fucked that up. You have the Silent Assassin suit only. You have Sniper Assassin. Uh, what is it? Not the classics one, that's separate, because uh, you need to do a bunch of them. Um, well, yeah, okay, yeah, technically, you do a bunch of them and you get that. Um, regular Silent Assassin, regular suit only, regular no evidence at the very end. You can get all of these in one go. I'm pretty sure someone has done the video by now. Now, there's going to be, for these types of master difficulty self-help things, um, I'm going to point out a few things. First and foremost, uh, there will be cuts because obviously there's a lot of waiting. Second of all, I will always have mastery of these areas completed I feel like that's kind of necessary um, so max mastery you can get here is five we're going to start with five so I'm gonna open night call um, we don't really need a smuggled item if I'm being completely honest uh, however well actually no we do <laughs> I lied Fuck. Uh, so we're going to put the sniper rifle on the beach shack now, you're going to want the the, uh, the Zygutter, or uh, however you pronounce it, the Zygutter, um, in particular, which you do have to get through a different mission. Um, if I back out really quick. Um, in order to get that one, you have to complete all three of these escalations for um, the a house built on sand Marrakesh. Um... Given this game is very DLC heavy, that is not an unreasonable thing to ask. Unless you're new to this, in which case, hi, they want to milk you for cash. Um, <laughs> now, it would obviously be very easy to just start in the office, but you have to start on the beach so you can get the rifle in the first place. Um, I'm going to use the suit that I completed this in at the request of our friend Lucy. Um... And we're going to take a fish. You can honestly take any melee weapon that knocks people out. It's just I prefer the fish. Um, normally I take lockpicks with me. I'm not going to bother with the lockpicks because we can get the uh, our way in relatively easily. Um, I'm actually going to give us the chrome. Just for style points. And in we go. So skipping, skipping the little uh, introduction bit, I'm going to run down along the beach here. We're going to get a sniper rifle. This is Hitman 2, so thankfully the sniper rifle has a convenient carrying case that we can also just throw at people's heads. Um, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to get ready with the gun. Now we actually only need to take out one camera. Well, okay, two, because in Master Difficulty, there's cameras on the interior as well. So, we are going to be entering through the pool side, where they have installed a camera. Now, since we are out of range of the camera, because you can see on the ground, like, it's max radius and everything. Since we're out of range, just going to take day. that out. Now, according to the local home security provider... The house is equipped with multiple cameras Good. placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them, 47. And we will be getting rid of them, but we're not going to just shoot all of them out. Uh, instead, we're going to shoot this vase here, which has a key. We're going to use that to get inside. So we're in. Um, now, a lot of scenarios, you know, we 
you know, mess with the window blinds. Honestly, though, you don't really have to. That's a matter of preference. I'm just going straight for the objective, relatively speaking. So that's our second camera. Um, now, there is... That computer. See if you can't access it. As she just said, there is that computer there. We're not going to bother messing with the computer just yet. The item we need for the computer is in here. Um, the before computer, no you do anything else, the first thing you gotta do, destroy the camera evidence. This will disable all the cameras on the premises. Nice day, if you've played this game a lot, you know, the last thing we need. you know that for a fact. Um, the second thing that you want is you want to grab the fragmentation grenades. These will come in handy later. Trust me. Um... I did, however, screw up one thing, and it actually involved a lockpick, so let me see if I can go get it really quick. Because, in true Hitman fashion, some ways, like, okay, so I'm not going for speed, I'm just going for completion, for the record. Uh, no, okay, we can still get in here. You want the cans of spaghetti sauce. They come in handy, trust me. Um. Because, like... You know, the more items that you can throw and distract people with, the better. Um, right. So, before you access the computer, uh, I personally recommend setting up. So, what you're going to do is you're going to come in here. Now, you could just go in through another door, but I don't remember if that requires lockpicks. And it's in part so you can get rid of this thing. Because if you leave the squeaky toy here, you will get caught. Uh, so, I'm going to drop the suitcase leave it here um we'll end up coming back in here in just a moment hold on actually i'm gonna, I'm gonna just better adjust this i'm a little uh, picky right so going to search the computer I'm in. Hurry. This is going to trigger the I'm people movement up the road. coming to our place. So we're going to skip that. And we're going to just wait for them to finish their conversation. Um, while they're in the middle of this, since no one's up here, or no one's physically able to see us, we're just going to get set up here. And I'm going to jump cut it to when they actually get in here, which regretfully takes a decent amount of time. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. Targets are coming upstairs. Um, I'm going to tell you what you need to do to prepare. So, first of all, make sure you have your rifle ready. Um, make sure you also have a melee item. Now, this is crucial because you, Orson will be with Alma during her entire time up here. Again, if you've played this area, you'd know. Um, also, so, this bathtub is a perfect place to hide behind, as long as you're basically about where I am right now, they will not see you. Um, you will need to knock out Orson before he goes and, uh, but before you go and kill uh, Alma, you can get rid of both of them right here. Um, the... Key part to it, though, is that you have to wait for Orson to start taking the shower, so that the mirror and stuff will all fog up, so no one sees anything. I love this argument between them. I didn't know it was that important to you, Orson. What can I say? My bad. I've been using the safe house for years. Right, you and Sean. Bet the house knew his name. Okay, I guess I could change it into... Welcome, Alma and Sean, too. How's that? Fuck me. Or maybe second Sean. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or Sean Light. I think Sean Light's my favorite. <laughs> you know what I'll think of some more while I go and brush my teeth? Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. Alright. do that, Orson. So... Getting ready for plan. They're not gonna see. I hate his goddamn bulge. Alright. So, 
you'll know when it's about the right time to strike because you won't be able to see Orson. When are you shipping out again? Say, say what? I said, when are you shipping out again? Oh, um, uh... Oh. For some reason, she won't notice, and Target down. you just shoot her in well the back of the head. Step. Now get off the property. Now, obviously, you need to dispose of the bodies. Don't want anyone coming in and getting suspicious. Just dump her here. Be sure to take him, because if you don't, again, people will find out. Part of being silent assassin, no evidence, is that no bodies are found. Be sure to re-grab your fish. The fish is crucial. Um, reconceal your sniper rifle in said suitcase. Take it with you, because why not? Want to leave with everything we came in with, after all. Now, this guy will not see you. Or, not very well. You'll, you'll be able to get past him. Take the bus for good measure. This is going to be the tricky part. We are going to need to get past a bunch of guys. So, hold on one moment. I'm going as far as I know I can without having to do anything else. I'm going to throw this wrench. So, uh, <sighs> give me a moment. What am I want? You know what I mean. Welcome. down. Well done. Forty-seven. Now get off the property. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what the hell? Who threw that? So, I played a little riskier. Still got rewarded though. <sighs> Let's uh, work on cleaning up. Don't ask about that guard, I was uh, testing something. I've also wasted our one save state, just so we can get closer to here, uh, just in case. <coughs> so the rifle. At least I think I saved it. Um, yes, yes I did. Too much attention, so we'll just run right through. Now, I did grab an extra weapon off of that wall because I realized that um, 
Well, there's something extra we could be using. Ben, I got some strange noises. So, calmer tranquilizer. I just wanted to. Now, that guard upstairs that was in the closet that I put Orson in was just a test on this thing, because I was kind of, like, I, I didn't know what it was. Alright. Here from the turn. Never mind, he's going to be persistent. We'll just dart him. Go put him in the closet over here. Makes life a little easier. Now we don't have to worry about him. Now this is by far one of the most annoying parts of the mission. Because you need to hope that the guard paths are in your favor, basically. Especially since in master mode, um everyone sees you that much easier. I left my suitcase. You know what, whatever. The reality is you don't need the suitcase to actually, like, you know, complete this. I just bring it along for style. Probably my lack of style is going to get me caught at some point, honestly. run to that patch of grass past this guy. We need to wait for him to turn. But yeah, we give him a reason to go Man, somewhere else. That's getting annoying. Better not be another half inch. I just want to know what the hell Max is that apparently is just tearing through sheep. Given him his reason to look over there. Like I said, these cans of pasta sauce really coming in handy. Now, this is our next big obstacle. The Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. We have to wait for him. Alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. Also, that guy. These two are by far the most annoying ones, but once you get past them, you're basically home free. With one small exception. So I want him to be facing that way now. Someone kind of noticed us, but I suggest you cause a distraction, forty-seven, and make it a loud one. That's okay. We're gonna send that guy on a bit of a wild goose chase, really quick. Come on, just move. You know you want. There we go. Past the brush. Drop down onto this hill a little bit just to give ourselves some natural cover while also sticking to the grass. Now, as you can see, a bunch of fuckers over in our near our boat. And this is why we brought the grenades. So, 
I'm just gonna lob one over that way. Even though they saw us, it didn't register because we were that fast. So with any luck, we get Silent Assassin. We'll see at the very end. The point is that though is that I've done this in this manner before, so I'll be surprised if it didn't work this time. So as you can see, I got them previously. Silent Assassin rating. So that's how you beat, uh, that's how you get all of them at once on, uh, for, uh, the classic mode masters, uh, thing. Your Silent Assassin, your No Evidence, your, uh, Sniper Assassin. All of those ones that end up kind of chaining into each other. Uh, I hope you all enjoy. Leave ratings, probably tell me how you somehow did it faster, all that fun stuff. Till next time, I'm Kaizo. Goodbye. <laughs>